Hi everyone. Good morning all. So today we are going to discuss our second unit which is nothing but unit number 2 electric drive train. So in this unit we are going to focus on different topologies of electric vehicle and general configurations of electric vehicle and different types of hybrid drive trains as well as here we will discuss about electric vehicle as well as we will try to discuss about the topologies of a hybrid electric vehicle at combine so this is very important if you want to physically see how an electric vehicle is available so coming to the first concept so first one is electric drive train so you need to understand about what is meant by an drive train so generally drive train means drive train is nothing but group of power trains so group of power trains what is meant by an power train so power train is called as so this is a combination of an energy source plus energy converter energy source with combined with energy converter what is an energy source energy source is nothing but an battery what is an energy converter which converts this dc to ac or dc to dc as per the requirement of the type of motor so this energy converter we are going to call it as the motor so when you use a single battery i mean if you use a battery and then motor to make the vehicle to move forward which is called as a power train like this if you have more number of power train so rather than using only battery if you use flywheel mechanism or if you use fuel cell mechanism so more than one energy source i am using and more than one converter so i am using a motor here or i may use an internal combustion engine so make it to propel therefore all these power trains are combined to make it like an drive train so that is what the meaning of an electric drive train okay so now we are very clear about drive train this name itself is saying that this is a train which it tries to drive from forward direction or which tries to drive in backward direction or which able to move from one direction to i mean one place to another place is called as a drive or which moves from one location to another location is called drive train so this is what the meaning of an uh, drive train drive train is nothing but group of power train power train is nothing but which consists of an energy source and energy converter so energy source we are going to call it like an battery energy converter is called as a motor which converts electrical to mechanical so where this mechanical energy is used to propel the wheel of the electric vehicle or wheel of an hybrid electric vehicle that's why this energy converter is taken the example as an motor so that is all about uh, what is meant by power train what is meant by group of why a group of power train is called as drive train now let's try to disclose in clearly about the primary ev configuration so what is this primary ev configuration so this is nothing but uh, let's try to see in detail so primary or basic primary ev power train okay so what is this uh, basic primary ev power train so this primary ev power train consists of uh, different parts let's try to analyze uh, each individual part so actually you may have the drive system at the front of the wheels or at the back of the wheels here go here we are going to have an a torque splitter where this is also called as uh, the mechanical transmission so this is called as mechanical transmission or sometimes this is also called it as a uh, mechanical transmission means it transfers the single torque to the torque available at the wheels so this is also called in generally as torque splitter torque splitter so now we are going to split the torque into two halves so here you are going to have the wheels of an electric vehicle here we are having the wheels and here we are having the wheels so these are the wheels it may be available at front end or back end and this torque splitter is directly connected to an electric drive train so here we are going to have an so this is like an block diagram representation electric motor drive so here we are going to have an electric motor drive 
and in order to propel this motor we need to connect it to an energy source and here you are going to have an energy source okay. so this is nothing but electrical energy storage block so this is electrical energy storage so indirectly here you are going to have an a battery okay so now very simple to understand i want to rotate this uh, wheel okay so when you connect to the task splitter wheel 1 may rotate at one speed wheel 2 will rotate at another speed it depends upon the inclination and how the road is there okay so if you have a straight road both will try to run with uh, constant speed if both has a different uh, if the road is they having a curvature or u turns or something then wheel 1 and wheel 2 will have two different speeds of operation so you see here i want to propel this wheel in one direction or in opposite direction so the power flows uh, from this point onwards okay so you can see this uh, how the power flows so power will start flowing from the battery from battery it goes to the motor from the motor it goes to the transmission from transmission by using a torque splitter or an mechanical transmission the torque is splitted and resultantly it is available and outputs of the wheel so this is called as a primary primary ev power train you can see here why it is called power train i already told power train means is nothing but a group of energy source and energy converter what is energy source here this is an energy source this is nothing but the so that's why this is called battery is called an energy source in this power train and this motor is called as a energy converter okay so only one source is there there's nothing but only battery as well as one energy source and one converter is there that's why this is called as an power train and this is called ev power train electric vehicle power train so this is all about uh, some when you understand here if you want to propel this vehicle or if you want to drive this uh, wheel what you have to do is uh, you should have a battery battery should be energized to the motor and motor as per its type of motor it will try to give convert this uh, electrical energy into mechanical energy and this mechanical energy will be splitted by using a torque splitter or mechanical transmission across the wheels w1 as well as wheels w2 so this is all about uh, the primary ev power train now let's try to understand about uh, general ev conflict is very 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 important question when you come across uh, all these concepts uh, what is meant by an general ev configuration so this is all about uh, what is meant by an power train what is meant by an drive train and what are the different parts in an power train so if you feel the video is useful please like share and subscribe the channel so the name of the channel is kv philosophy so hope uh, we'll meet in the next session and we'll try to discuss about general ev configuration or the block diagram representation thank you for watching